At halftime, I would have had a, a Gatorade bottle filled with vodka and tonic, and I would have been swinging out of that during the second half. I just know that there's no hope that we're going to win this game. At least I'm going to have a good time coaching it. Right. I'm going to be slugging back they're drinks gonna, during gonna the game. They're going to have to do something to show, like, to have a reason to believe, and I think they're going to have to sacrifice somebody. And maybe it's Minuski. Could because be. Because it's been a catastrophic fall. From the Alabama wall to JP showing the stats in the last five games or so where they're ranked 31st in the NFL. I mean, what the hell happened? It's not like they're riddled with Or maybe injuries. they just, they're resigned to the fact that, look, this is a lost season and we're going to ride it out for no, the next I think four. It, I think you have to make a move. You got to make a move. Somebody, yeah, but what's, somebody I mean, what's, the, what's the end goal of that move? End goal just, is to do, change something. They got to yeah. change something. Yeah, the season's know. still on. Listen, it, I'm going to look at it from, you guys can all say, and I understand it. I'm not going to bet on them. But there's still four games left. If they won their last four games, they're still in this. They're still mathematically in it. You can't the football games. To sh- sh- you know, otherwise you just lose the public faith, the public trust. You have to- lost that already. Probably lost that when That's been Alex eroded. went down. <laughs> yeah. well, they have to try to win the games. They can't just wave the white flag. I know that's well, what fans do. Well, they are going to try. Well, to, they got to change think, something up. But I think it's they out of their control. Doing the same thing every week is not going to help. The defense is showing no signs of improvement. In fact, they're they're getting worse. Let's go to the phones. Yeah. Bunch of people want to weigh in. What do you do? Six and six. Actually, <clears throat> just a half game back of the wild card. I would um I would Grasping. fire I would fire Greg Minuski. That's what I would do today. And I'm sorry, I don't like to fire people, but I would fire Greg Minuski. You and could try, do and try, that. To, try to change something. You could do that. Try to get a different for look. the sake of change, but it's not going to matter. For the sake of change, and maybe a more aggressive guy, something. Let's go to Daryl. In D.C. Daryl, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey, Daryl. Um, what's up? This is nepotism and incompetency at its finest. <laughs> I mean, you sit up there and you keep hiring your boys. Because, yeah, I get what the world is built on. It's built on relationships. We get that. However, when you're a rookie head coach, you got to always get the best man for the position because you don't, you're still learning the position yourself, which he's never done. You can't fight a defensive coordinator. You already went through two. You have no playoff wins. Josh Daniels, heck, he won a playoff in Pittsburgh with uh, Tim Tebow. Mm-hmm. The Vikings won with their third-string quarterback. I mean, we, 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 no, we, you we, can we fire Gruden too. Excuses. You could fire Gruden too. I don't care. But just right yeah. now, today, no, I leave would it fire like it Minuski nope. today, and then I'd fire everybody nope, else. Nope, I wouldn't year. allow him to. <laughs> oh. Just like they like to step in sometimes and stop him from doing, it, I wouldn't allow him to. Nope. If, if I'm Dan Snyder, Why? you got to stop being. Uh, you got to stop being the guy that works for Chick Fil A. Stop being a cow. Stop Why? These guys Why would you not no. let him fire Minuski? No, because I already let you fire two other defensive coordinators. At some point, the blame has to fall on you. But it'll, it'll you fall can't on keep him blaming at the end everybody of the year. I think it'll fall on him huh? at the end of the year. I think it'll fall yeah, on no, you keep the everybody out there. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it matters either way. It probably doesn't, but I would do it. I mean, if you're gonna fire Minuski, I mean, whoever comes in there, who's gonna call plays? Don't know. Torian Gray. Anybody. I don't know. Anybody. You. They're, they're still Anybody. They need a different look. You just want to blame <clears throat> someone. No, but schemes. You just want to fire someone no, to blame someone. Schemes can change. Yeah, otherwise, then they'd say coaches are re- irrelevant. Schemes matter. Yeah, yeah, but I can't imagine the scheme's going to change that much. Look, I don't they're know. They're not how, that good. I don't they're know how, secondary and good. I don't know how much a scheme and how much not is just, just the, the players or subpar. Stop the run. Because I think the linebackers are getting exposed week in and week out. Linebackers are good I'm either. at. NBC Sports watching last night, surrounded by a bunch of ex-players. Brian Mitchell, Trevor Maddich, Sean Springs was there, Santana Moss. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say particulars, but they often talk about schemes and how the Redskins apparently are not in the right schemes. I'm not sophisticated enough to know it. Yeah, I would would donk them There are coaches that will approach things differently. Jason, maybe your guy Tom Sula would be elevated Okay, in that instance. I don't know. I don't know. Bottom line is they're still going to suck. Let's go. I, don't care I just think someone has to be a fall guy. You have to have to show the. You have to give the public a reason to have some hope. Now, if you're going to say things might change, if you're going to okay, that's a little different. That's what it is. That's different. You got to give you a gonna, reason for hope. But if you're firing guy to replace him with a guy you think is going to do a better job and their defense is going to get better, I don't believe that. I think it could happen. But they might like like for example, this, this is very small and this is very basic, but you might change from uh, Minuski to Tom Sula and Tom Sula decides to blitz more. I, it may not work. It could actually, actually, I don't at this point. Like I said, last five games, they're giving up 430.4 yards per game. Right. Yep. Second There's only world. one team worse than that throughout the season, and that's the Bengals who give up 434 per game. Yeah. Well, I well, think give them another continue. week. Give them another week. Right. And they're giving up 
basically 25 points a game, and that's including the Tampa game where they only gave up three. They should have given up 30 in that game. At least Jay has the injury excuse. Minuski and the defensive guys don't have that. I mean, there have been a few injuries, but not catastrophic the way it's 